Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video I'll be unboxing something a little bit different, some polyhedral dice made by a company called Magi7. If you're wondering why I'm featuring these, I thought they'd be really nice to use for burrows and badgers. Two years ago I made this video about the burrows and badgers skirmish game book, and they've got some really interesting mechanics that use the polyhedral dice. So these are going to be a really nice gift for someone who plays burrows and badgers, or even to treat yourself. And if you want to watch that video, I'll link to it at the end of this one. Definitely worth checking out. Really cool book. But of course, these dice are going to be perfect for any kind of Dungeons and Dragons game as well. Okay, let's get into it then, and a big thanks to Magi7 who sent these out to me. It's not a sponsored video, but they did send out these dice for free. And in the video, I'll go through a good unboxing, give you a close-up look so you can judge for yourself on the quality and decide whether or not this is something you'd like to add to the collection. The set I've got here to unbox is Natural Gemstone. These are Labradorite, and they're going to come with this little bag, which has got the Magi7 branding on there, and then you've got the nice drawstrings as well. Personally, I don't even think I'd use this bag. I think I would want to keep them in this box. But if you wanted to use the bag, you've got one here that's going to be nice and thick. And then inside, you can see the material there. That's going to give a little bit of protection, but certainly nothing like the foam box that they come in. And so we've got the usual seven dice here that you'll get from a polyhedral set. You've got the D4 here. And you can see the edges are really pointy. I thought this one was chipped a little bit on the corner there. But if you see up close, it's kind of got like a, a black part of the stone. So it's not actually a chip. It's just like, a, I guess, an impurity in there that's black. I don't know a lot about gemstones, but there's certainly some black parts running through the other sections of the different dice. So, yeah, you can see. But there from an angle, you get a nice look at the colour. You can see some of the lines as well from where these have been cut. And then the engravings, they're looking nice and crisp. These are laser engraved. And it tells us in the description on the website for these that that's not going to fade either. So that's really good. And as you know, I'm really fussy about my dice. You want these engravings nice and crisp, but certainly when you're paying this kind of money. And this particular set on their website is $70.99. That's US dollars. And I think that's why these would be really nice as a gift or something to treat yourself with. Uh, but yeah, for me, it stands out as a gift. You've got a nice gift box, the metallic lid that opens up, and then they're presented really well in this foam. And, you know, to get something a little bit special for your gaming sessions and for your friends or loved ones, I think this is a nice way to go. There's another little black piece there that I thought, again, it looks like it's chipped, especially against the background, but just a little bit of the different colour of the stone coming through. I must admit, I would like to have seen a little bit more of the blue coming through in these. But still, you can see as the light catches it from different angles, it brings out all different colours, which is really nice, I think. And when you're playing a game and you've got these out on the table, it feels pretty special, nice and weighty. They're also very like, like cool, like cold in temperature and cool looking as well, but very crisp. You can see, oh, that's nice there. That's a nice look from that angle. Get the light to reflect off it a bit. Yeah, that's really good. And if Labradorite isn't your thing, they've got tons of natural gemstones to choose from on the website and on Amazon as well. One thing they do say on their website is that when you order the dice, you're not going to pay anything extra for US, Canada and Europe. And so no import fees. So that's good. I think that's because they use Amazon as the distributor for them. But if you want to find out more about that, that's all available on the website. And here we go. Here's the final one to have a look at. Really nice, really crisp, which is good. I'm really impressed with the laser engraving. That's certainly what you want from a dice. I mean, these have got to be perfect at this price, as far as I'm concerned. And then you've got the little insert as well to put them in. Now, when you're rolling these, you do not want to roll them on like a, a table. You want to roll them on a mat or they recommend a felt rolling tray. And just feeling that D4 dice, I can just imagine rolling that on like a hard surface. I'd be scared it would chip for sure. So yeah, I'm going to be careful here. Use them on my Tabletop Skirmish Games mouse mat box that I made. I did a video about that if you'd like to check it out actually on the channel. But let's roll some dice, see what we get. And I'll keep going until I get a 20. I won't record that though. That'd be pretty boring. There we are then. That's the dice from Magi7. Nice set of seven Labradorite dice. And one cool thing about these is that each set is going to look original. No two sets are going to be the same except the the black obsidian dice. They're going to be solid black so they are going to look the same. But all the others certainly going to get some variation in there for sure. 
all up really nice really grateful to Magi7 for reaching out and sending me these dice to add to our collection we're gonna have fun with these in Dungeons and Dragons if we play Burrows and Badgers again we'll certainly get them out for them and but they're gonna get a lot of use and also we've got some other games in the pipeline they might pop up in so you never know but I'll link to that Burrows and Badgers video if you want to have a look at the rule book flick through also check this one out this was awesome 5e compatible rpg setting game neverland this is a stunning book and i love just taking it off the shelf and having a look through very inspiring awesome book if you're wondering who this guy is who popped up in the video a few times this is a brilliant miniature from master of miniatures one of my favorites just a quick video this one to give you a good look at these dice. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And be awesome if you check out the website links to Magi7 as well. So thanks for watching. If you liked the video or found it helpful, it'd be great if you hit the like button. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And I look forward to seeing you here next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. A massive thank you to my Patreon supporters for helping me keep going with these regular videos. If you're a Patreon member, then this weekend you will have received a free book, which is a guidebook on how to create skirmishes for Population Z. So if you want to check that out, there's a link to my Patreon page in the description down below. It'd be awesome to see you there.